Hey Night Nation, this is Landon Johnson. I'm here with Owen. Uh, don't look now, but the boys' basketball team has won four games in a row. Last night they hosted USC in a rescheduled game in the West Gym. Only a third of the varsity game played in the West Gym. The Knights built up a 19-point lead in the second half before the Rebels went on a 15-2 run to end the game. But the Knights held on to win by a score of 63-57. to Colton Steberg scored 24 to lead the Knights. Zach Mason scored 12, and Eli Hedin ended with 11 points. Monday, the Knights hit the road and beat the Cardinals from BA 62-55, behind 16 points from Zach Mason. Colton Steberg added 12. The Knights erased a 13-point deficit in the contest. Last Friday, they also beat Hayfield 58-50. Colton Steberg had 17 points and a strong defense from the Knights. Zach Mason had great passing and he stole a bunch of passes. The Knights swept Hayfield this year, which was very hard, which was very difficult for them to do. The Knights' record is now 14-9 and as they head to Randolph to try to avenge their loss earlier in the regular season. They are fighting for a first-round home playoff game. Girls basketball traveled to top 10 ranked Hayfield and put up a tremendous fight. The Knights gave Hayfield a real test, and even though the score ended up 75-39, to the score does not indicate how competitive it really was. With 11 minutes to play, the Knights found themselves only down 2-34-32 to before Hayfield went on an absolute terror, outscoring KW 41-7 to close the game. On Monday night, the girls rode that momentum on the first tw- of the first 25 minutes versus Hayfield and ended up beating BA 55-33 to behind 19 points from Carmen Nearson, 12 from Yvette, 10 from Molly Quam, Rich Ryan added 8, and the Knights played tough defense, only allowing 13 points in the first half. KW put a complete game together, and now will host Randolph tonight at the Castle. They will be honoring five seniors tonight. Wrestling is back-to-back conference champions after defeating Nurhag 61-9 last night. They then followed that up by taking down Goodyear 38-21. Reed Summer picked up his 100th win in the duel. Last weekend, they swept the Cannon Falls quadrangular, defeating Northfield, Cannon Falls, and St. Peter in dominating fashion. The Knights' record is now 23-8, and and tonight's match in Lanesboro has been canceled. They will start their sections next Thursday, which will most likely be a home match. This past week, the KW FCCLA held their annual blood drive. They collected 24 donations on Tuesday. Tomorrow, the high school choir is holding their annual waffle feed. We caught up with Hannah Johnson for more details. Hi, I'm Lana here with Ms. Johnson. Ms. Johnson, the annual waffle feed is on Friday. Uh, what's going to be going on, and how can people support it? It's actually on Friday. Friday. No, no, it's not on Friday. It's on Saturday. Saturday it's on Saturday. It is from 8 to 11 a.m. Adult tickets are $10. Students are 8 Anybody five and under is for free. Um, but it's at First Lutheran, right downtown. And come and enjoy some... Really awesome waffles and support the choir program. Supports a lot of the things we do here. So, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Also, tomorrow, the speech team will travel to John Marshall High School for their first event of the season. Bus leaves at 6.30 a.m. It is snow week next week, and on Monday, it's pajama day. Tuesday is why is this in my closet day. Wednesday is Valentine's Colors Day. Thursday is Jersey Day. Friday is Meme Day. And it's a half day on Wednesday next week, which is also Valentine's Day. Well, Valentine's Day is next Wednesday, and some of you may have some questions regarding the made-up holiday. Well, we have just the thing for you. Valentine's Day is next week. Are you prepared? Do you have any uncertainties? Are you feeling indecisive? If you flat out have any Valentine's Day-related questions, call us at 1-800-VALENTINES-HELP. Oh, we're getting our first call right now. Hello, Valentine's help. How may I help you? Hey, uh, I'm kind of nervous. There's someone I want to ask to be my Valentine, but I just don't know how to do it. What would you do? Well, Eric, you've called the right place. Here's what I do. You walk up to them very confidently and tell them, Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. That makes perfect sense. Thanks, guys. I'll be sure to give you a five-star review on Yelp. It's as easy as that. Just call. Oh, we're getting another call. Word travels fast, I guess. Valentine's help, how may I help you? 
Hi, yeah, my my girlfriend is insisting that we do something for Valentine's Day, but I'm not the most creative guy. What would you recommend? Well, I'm glad you called. You could do the whole go out to dinner or eat at a restaurant, but how lame is that? What you really want to do is you want to stay home, order some pizza, and watch reruns of Inside the Lair. That'll be a night she'll never forget. Wow, thanks. I feel so much better. Well, there you have it, folks. Satisfied customer after satisfied customer. Call 1-800-VALENTINES-HELP for valuable Valentine's knowledge. Luke and Jane put together some emojis that they thought would represent different states. Can you get a state by these three different emojis? I'm Luke and I'm here with Owen and we're doing Guessing the State by the Emojis. Texas? I don't know. Yep. I'm Luke and I'm here with William and we're doing uh, Guess the State by the Emojis. New York. Yep. Luke and I'm here with Ross and we're doing Guessing the State by the Emojis. Yup. Hi, I'm Luke, and I'm here with uh, Kirby, and we're doing Guessing the State by the Emojis. My first thought was Nebraska, but there's no race car track in Nebraska. So I'm going Indiana. Yup. I'm Luke, and I'm here with Landon, and we're doing Guess the State by the Emojis. That's Kentucky. Yup. Alright, I'm Luke and uh, I'm with Jackson and we're doing Guess the State by the Emojis. Florida? No, it's California. Okay. I'm Luke and I'm here with uh, Owen Ludke and uh, we're doing Guess the State by the Emoji. Uh, Florida? Yup. Hi, I'm Luke and I'm with Freddie and we're doing Guessing the State by the Emojis. Oh, it's got to be Minnesota. Yep. I'm Luke, and I'm here with uh, Gabriel, and we're doing Guess the State by the Emojis. I don't know this one. Um, I don't know this one. It's Georgia. I'm Luke, and I'm here with Tyler, and uh, we're doing Guess the State by the Emojis. <laughs> Nevada. No, New Mexico. Here's our Senior Decisions segment. This week is Kaya Schmidt. I'm Kaya Schmidt, and I'm going to RCTC for dental hygiene, and I'd like to give a shout-out to Mr. Kincaid. The Super Bowl is this weekend, 49ers versus Chiefs. Who do you have winning this game? I think the 49ers are going to win by – it's going to be 31-14, to 14 and the 49ers are going to win. I think I got the 49ers too, and I think it'll be 31-21. to 21. All right. Well, that's it for us, folks. Have a good rest of your week. Watch the Super Bowl this weekend. Go Knights.